Oh, well... It must have changed because it was scared of all the Terrans. <laughs> that would be amusing. <laughs> Alright, well... Anyway, guys, we were spawning directly on top of Everize, uh, who is on Team Dynamic. I forgot that for a second. I was, I was thinking Tower Defense, and he said specifically not Tower Defense. But it's Team Dynamic, Everize, who is a very nice person. I've become friends with him through this attack, so I am immediately proud about that. He's going to be playing against another Terran whose name is Agna. Um, Agna's probably one of the a little quieter people. I don't know if he's on a team, actually. I'm going to ask him. Agna, you on a team? I can put in a team tag for you. Okay. So now Agna is the Terran opponent. He's actually a good player in TBT. I've seen him beat DBS actually on this map in TBT. And it was actually a pretty good game. It was a nice macro game. Um, and we'll see it's going to be happening. But apparently he's not going to respond to me. Apparently not. Definitely major focus going on right now by both players. They are hardcore in the zone. They're like, what am I going to do? Yeah. So we do see that, uh, I want to, I don't know how to say his name. I want to call him something really weird. Agna or Everize? Everez. Everize. It's, it's like ever Everize. and eyes. It's Yeah, it just looks so weird. He got his gas way before Agna. Yeah, he's gonna go for a um, a factory directly after that barracks is done, because you'll watch the timing of this, you'll see about 100 gas being mined exactly when the barracks finishes. So he's either going for an incredibly fast Hellion build, or Banshees, or some form of 111, or at the minimum a very fast factory of some sorts. Awesome! Let's see if I can uh, count on that. Oh, nope. Barracks wasn't done in time. Uh, you know what that means? We might be seeing a reactor Hellion, like the fastest reactor Hellion possible, maybe after one Marine or even no Marines. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to see this. Oh, well, there's the factory you called. Yep, and will we have the uh, reactor? No, we built a Marine. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I mean, his timing's just slightly off. Maybe, you know, no, he's, there's no way Everize's timings are slightly <laughs> off. He's, he could be going for like a cloaked Banshee type of Wait thing. Wait a second, you agreed with me for there a second. <laughs> <laughs> you agreed with me there for a second, then you're like, oh wait, no, no, there's no way. Well, yeah, because no I was going to say it's a, it's a possibility, but I mean, that would mean I'd be doubting Everize, and Everize is my best friend. I, he, I casted him during his birthday. It's a joyous occasion. See this, guys? You guys see this? <laughs> I call favoritism. Just kidding. Alright, fair enough. Makes you feel better you had a successful caster joke. Oh my goodness, I did! <laughs> Alright. And there's a starport like you called it. Alright, so now, um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of gas on his part, but let's take a look at Agna. Agna's factory is just now finishing, and you compare that timing with the timing of the uh, starport for Everize. Everize has an almost a 30 second lead on that, and it seems they're both going for very similar builds for Banshees, but it seems like Everize will be going for the uh, cloak with his. As you can see, his gas is almost at 300, and if you've got, what is it? 350, 300, you get the cloak and the banshee at the exact same time, and that's exactly what he's doing. Awesome. Alright, and it's gonna be very interesting, especially with Agna going for banshees of his own. Um, because banshee versus banshee, in terms of the strategies of both players, it can be very, very risky, because if they hit and everything at similar times, the one with the cloak may be able to catch the marines off guard, because either way, your marine count is oh. very low. One thing I noticed here that Agna is doing is, first off, he has a lot more Marines, and he just got a tech lab on his factory, and he's making a siege tank. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Everize is not doing that. Yeah, um, that's a gas difference, because um, Everize invested so much in getting that cloak very, very quickly, doesn't have the gas to support much else. He is getting out a second command center, though, uh, slightly faster than Agna, but these players are doing such similar builds. It's kind of funny actually okay yeah. uh, but with neither player having vision of the other one oh Agna got a raven he didn't get a banshee what got for what I was talking about raven versus banshee and everything I mean banshee versus banshee now Agna got a raven so 
Ever rise, I don't think he's gonna be able to do that much damage with this Banshee. Um, does he still? He canceled his cloak. He canceled his cloak and instead went for Bio. So that's gonna be really, really good that he did that. Um, he's now gonna move in and get a few SCP kills. He's actually targeting the mule, but the mule doesn't have that much life on it anyway. Now we're watching him get off a couple SCP kills. Three kills so far. To do a little bit of damage, we need to just retreat right now because those uh, Marines are definitely, definitely the Banshee's worst nightmare right now. Is he gonna get a fifth one? Oh, he's gonna no. lose the Banshee. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of depressing. Yeah, but I mean, it's gonna happen anyway. I'll just, I just got out a Viking as well. Um, but Everize. His advantage is the fact that his uh, command center is slightly faster and he's now done a little bit of worker harassment. Um, as you can see, Agna's got four, now three fewer uh, SCVs. But it's still a very even game. Look at the food counts, they're identical. That they are. Hey, look at this little SUV. Yeah, Agna's ready to scout this thing. Oh, he's gonna lose it though. Bye bye, SUV. Uh, yeah, and it did not actually see the command center. So he doesn't know if this is just a weird push from Everize or if there's going to be the command center. Unless he looks at the marine count and thinks, okay, that's not enough with the investment or whatever. So it's kind of uncertain what he might be thinking right now. Now, hmm. Agna's uh, siege mode just finished. Everize's is going to finish any moment here. So, Agnaz is slightly ahead there, but he's not going to push too far ahead in the map. I thought he was going to go ahead and try and do some harass over there, but I guess it, I was wrong. It looks like uh, Agna's trying to actually intercept the attack from Everize. He definitely thinks an attack is happening, otherwise there's no reason to siege up over here. Um, it's actually a really really intelligent thing to do because normally people will just attack move their army and just go straight to the natural and start paying attention to their forces when they're over here on the hexagons or something so they can just not get hit by siege tanks on the high ground but with this being the position Agna can basically catch a person completely off guard when all of a sudden a person looks all the marines are dead and their tanks are dying because they're just moving across the map so I like that position a lot definitely a good position yeah all right, so he moved the starport off of the tech lab, and he's going to go ahead and start making some medevacs. And by he, I mean Everize. Yeah. Somehow his food's a lot higher than Agna. I don't know where that's actually coming from. Um, he's got a lead in the Marines. He's got a lead in the SCVs. And by the way, the lead in the SCVs is ex directly... In proportion to the amount of damage that Banshee did, it's 43 to 40. It's these guys would be so on top of their SCV production. Oh, that's why Agna's going for double upgrades. Anyway, but yeah, that's where um the difference in SCVs is coming from. So Everize is definitely. Oh, look at this high ground advantage. Agna's not going to be able to do anything there. No, he will not. Um, Everize just hasn't lost off. Agna has. But it looks like um, Everize is running around with a few Marines just looking for a hidden expos, it seems. Yep. Alright. Let's see if Everize gets yes. upgrades. Get another factory. He might be going for two factory tanks and just a lot of Marines over there. He's getting another command center himself, though, so he's going to be expanding. And Agna is doing the very similar thing. Both these players are trying to play super it's eco. It's like mirror builds we're watching right now. Yeah, but it's in the mid-game that they're mirrored, and that rarely ever happens. Um, but these guys are going for incredibly similar strategies. Um, but a main key difference of these two players is the fact that Agna has a raven. And that raven is going to be really, really important for the Viking versus Viking battles. Because with that point defense drone, he can pick off a couple Vikings very, very quickly and not take any damage. And his lead will just snowball from there in terms of the Viking count, which would then lead into a uh, a lead in vision, because Everize would need to scan to get the vision while the Vikings just float over, and the tank versus tank battles would definitely go into Agna's favor because of that point defense drone. Well, another big difference that we're going to see between them is Agna's Marines are now 1-1 one, one versus uh, Everize, who has 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. So, I mean, that's going to make a big difference. Agna's fewer bunch will end up 
amounting to more than Everise has. Yep, and Everise is now dropping, killing off some more units. Um, and actually, something I just noticed also is the fact that Agna doesn't have combat shield. And Everise does, and that's going to be a really big loss. Oh, 24, 25, 26 work, 28 workers, 29, 30, 32 workers killed in total. Wow. Everise, by Everise. Yeah, I'm sorry, 33, and one by Agna. Yeah, he dropped inside the main two that time. He's even killing off the Ebays, which is a great thing to do, because um, those are guaranteed to go down. Oh, wow, that's a huge pickoff, too. So Agna's uh, upgrade lead is going to be very short-lived if Everise just starts upgrading himself. He's going to lose the medvac. Yep. Oh, it's okay. It paid for itself, I think, with all of those SCVs picked off and then the couple of buildings. Without a doubt, and Everise is getting up his 1-1 one -one now, too, so he's definitely got a lead over there. And does Agna have an armory? He does. He's getting out that plus one, excuse me, that plus one weapons for uh, his tanks and everything. But Everise is now going to get his third. Agna's is faster, though. Alright, so now, Everise, I wonder if he's got a... Uh, looks like he doesn't even have an armory. Oh, there we go, he's building his armory. So he's be able to get out his 2-2 uh, as well as his vehicle uh, upgrades. And with this sensor tower, you can see any drops coming in from the to his natural, or just any kind of siege at his natural. Uh, you have perfect knowledge of that and re uh, respond accordingly. But Agna is now pushing across the map, which he has to do. He can't just play a normal macro game anymore for taking all those SCV losses. He has to make something happen right now. That he does. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if he's gonna have much accessory here. Oh, not the with Raven. Everise being on top of it. Uh, oh. Siege tank, siege mode. Splash damage too much. Yeah, this is uh, not looking too good for Agna. Um, there's a high ground advantage. Everise is killing off the Metavax with his uh, Viking. He can easily drop down his uh, Marines on top of these tanks right now if he really wants to. You can see how he's like, doing that exactly right now, doing so much damage. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, he's got overwhelming force. Look at this one marine positioned perfectly just to kill off those guys. And there we see Everise breaking that attack, and Agna is now looking quite bad. Those are beautiful positions by Everise there. Yeah. One thing to note is I did notice that Agna, at his third, had dropped a ton of mules to try and make up for the loss of all of his SCVs. Yeah, he's also done a great job of rebuilding his SCVs. He's now ahead of Everise in that count. Is he? Yeah, it's 57 wow. to 55, and that's ridiculous. Um, but as you can see, if you look at the spending tab, you can see that Agnes has been forced to spend a lot more in terms of the economy, and that could have gone towards his army, because that's what Everise has been able to use his money for. And as you can see right now, Agnes is just continuing to take more and more losses, just sitting there at the watchtower while his marines get picked off. Yeah, that's uh, not that good. <laughs> that's not good to lose those marines for free when you have so little in comparison. No, it's not good. Yeah, and this tank's now dead. And oh, everybody's gonna go for a big tank drop now. Oh my goodness. Uh, there are these turrets. This turret's gonna go down though the second that they uh... But, ooh, if Everise loses that, he better back, he doesn't actually. So that'll be fine. No, he but doesn't. He's got such a strong oh. position. Yep, and he kept it. Yeah, his tank count is really, really high right now. He doesn't have the upgrades that Agna does. Um, Agna's been forced to go actually buy He's even built a Marauder now to try and snipe off those, uh, the tanks to get a good surround, a good spread, and everything. But he's got to be so, so, so careful. Just looking at Everise's forces, Everise is now max, and he's just continuing dropping. They're going to go for a big attack. Uh, but Agna's going to be able to pick off a single tank up here on the top. Oh, he actually ends up missing, and there's the GG from him. So Everise beats Agna in a nice TBT. I like that tank.